So hey everyone, we have Harsh Vishwakarma with us, who recently got ranked 82 in the GATE examination. So Harsh, I'm pretty excited to have a conversation with you. I have various yeah, questions. likewise. I have various questions for you. Like, what was your aspiration when you joined engineering college? You always wanted to crack GATE, and if GATE, then why? What was the reason? It was PSU or MTEC. So can you elaborate your reason? Yeah, uh, actually, I completed my graduation from Mother Mohan Malviya in uh, 2020. So after that, you all know, like we were the first batch who you know faced the Corona pandemic situation. And uh, in my during my final years, I never had this plan like I'll be you know going for the gate because uh, I had this mentality like you know gate is such a, you, uh, you, it is such a vast syllabus I won't be able to clearing up and after my JE advanced exam uh, I was like you know uh, I won't be you know sitting so much and doing so much rigor uh, again preparing for the exam to again crack the IIT so uh, applying for gate and giving date was you know was nowhere in my uh, plan like as far as I know and after that because uh, during my play during my final year I, I had a you know vague plan like you know, I'll be going to Bangalore and uh, there I'll be, uh, I'll be, you know, cracking some interviews and all because uh, during our final year, uh, our, our seniors mentored us like there's an exam known as E-Litmus. So if you'll be able to crack it, you will be pretty much getting interviews in uh, startups and uh, good companies in Bangalore. So yeah, uh, in uh, January, I think I cracked a litmus with a good percentile. So I was pretty much happy. Like I'll be, you know, giving uh, regular interviews after my graduation. And that was all with the plan that I had in my mind at that time. And uh, in March, I remember like, you know, uh, the COVID wave came and uh, the lo lockdown, you know, implemented and uh, we were like, uh, what to do? So after that, I started applying for the startups and all. So, but nothing went well uh, at that time because, you know, at that time, there were many companies who started their layoffs in the, uh, their, their layoff season. And also many startups that, uh, that, you know, recruited uh, uh, with e-litmus, they stopped recruiting this or the startups itself uh, got disbanded. So, uh, during all this time, during 2020, I was, you know, facing so much, uh, you can say, you know, uh, depression, like phase, like, you know, I'm just sitting at home and doing nothing. Uh, I do have one offer and that too in a service based company. So I was like, you know, what, what are you doing in my life? Because all my plans that I have made up till now, they were all in vain. So I think uh, when, uh, my orientation of the company went, uh, in the second day, when I joined the company after that, I had this mind, like, you know, I didn't enter, uh, you know, government college, uh, by cracking an exam after my 12th to go into a service based company. I'm no, I'm pretty much meant for a good, uh, opportunities than this. So I talked with, with one or two of my seniors, they advised me like, you know, you can crack gate because this is a harsh reality of India. Like. Uh, people do judge you by, uh, you know, your college, either it is tier one, tier two, tier three, it is a harsh reality, but it's true. So, because, and also one thing I noticed, uh, during my, uh, apply when, when I was applying in the companies, uh, there was not, uh, when, when you used to fill the column, like, uh, we have to fill the column, like, uh, from where did you graduated? I always pretty much, uh, I, I think I remember I always entered it in others. My college was never mentioned in the list. So that thing, yeah, kind of bugged me. Like, you know, why am, am I facing like all these things? So yeah, I started from January, January end. And, uh, I had a vague idea, like, you know, all these subjects are, uh, there are so much vast syllabus. So, uh, actually, and yeah, after that, I, uh, initiated my journey rig uh, rigorously, uh, in April. Yeah, that's all the start I got into it. So what was your preparation strategy? Have you created one silly, uh, timetable for how many hours you used to study? Like uh, Madhvi, like I was a first timer uh, in GATE, so I didn't have any idea like how I'd be going through with all the syllabus and all the, uh, you know, subjects, uh, how much depth should I be covering each and every subject. So, uh, you know, I was going through uh, YouTube, like uh, searching, like, uh, what are the, all the free lectures associated? How are we going to, uh, study gate? 
so there is a site known as data flow that everybody used to you know suggest you like uh, you would be um, going through this uh, website each and every time you would be covering pre yq so if you are uh, previous year questions if you are and even though if you have any doubt you can post it on that website so i had this idea like uh, i'll be covering uh, this much and they suggested me like uh, you have to you know um, cover every each and every subject using standard books but for me covering standard books after my college because i didn't had any idea in during my college days like uh, to be really honest i didn't had any you know uh, grasp or base regarding any subject in during my college days because during my college days uh, uh, like uh, if like for example if we have an exam tomorrow we'll be start, start we'll be start studying around 8 o'clock we will study for 2 hours and then we will uh, you know give the exam so my schedule was like this to just uh, get a good cgpa not good an average cgpa so that it will not hinder in my future like uh, i will not be you know uh, deselected or you know rejected based on my cgpa criteria so i was just maintaining that borderline okay i'll be maintaining this borderline and don't want more than that so uh, you know starting again with uh, because when i started uh, i didn't had any idea like what are all the subjects and uh, all the i had the idea like uh, there are actually 12 subjects that you have to prepare in the gate but the base the depth nothing i didn't had any idea so i started with you know uh, everybody uh, actually a friend of mine suggested me that you can uh, start with uh, you know uh, free lectures like you can look into the free lectures or you can just here and there you know search for all the free material that that is going on so yeah af in after that in i think um, may uh, there is this uh, coach institution known as gate applied course they hosted their scholarship test and uh, because you know i uh, prepared a little bit uh, of dsa after my graduation for the play during uh, during the time when i was giving interviews so their test was basically you know a gate syllabus of dsc and c programming so yeah i cracked the scholarship test and i got the you know their coaching for you know uh, as a scholarship so after that uh, in september there this, there was this announcement like you know uh, gate overflow website there they uh, themselves are going to uh, launch their uh, coaching institute and uh, actually after i cracked the gate there is this question that got repeated to me every time like uh, you know people are asking me like how are you, are we going to prepare and they, they, this question that uh, that has the major hype is uh, are we supposed to you know read books or you know just uh, watching lectures is enough so basically that uh, the go classes uh, the coaching name is go classes that they actually you know uh, rectified all these things like the uh, what the the teaching pattern that he had uh, implemented is you have to uh, you know you have to read the books and then they are going to you know teach you from the, from the books itself so yeah so as i was a working professional i thought like you know this is a you know golden opportunity for me to go with this course and uh, yeah i got the course and uh, after that i uh, start learning from the videos only because uh, uh, you know if you are a working professional watching uh, you know uh, reading books and going in, in depth for yourself is very much hectic because i didn't have time to first you know rectify all the strategy that i had you know uh, do trial and error on that and then uh, you know uh, go with a good strategy that uh, I, i didn't had that much time because uh, there was a work pressure also and uh, even after that you know i didn't had any idea regarding when i started all the subjects so yeah as you asked me like you know what are all the resources that i followed during my journey so uh, you know when i started i had this vague idea like you know i'll be going with all the uh, youtube videos that are freely available on the internet and someone told me that during your gate journey you should you know uh, also look into nptel courses so Uh, you know we have the, we had this perception in our college days that nptel is pretty much boring and, and they are you know one hour video so yeah you know you pretty much get asleep after half or 15 minutes so uh, you know uh, after april in may i think this gate applied course they hosted their scholarship test they announced that they will be conducting a scholarship test for all the gate aspirants of 2022 so because you know i part uh, i prepared for dsa data structure algorithm 
after my graduation when i was applying for different companies so yeah i had the good grasp on data structure and algorithms at that moment of time so uh, you know and in their test they also mentioned that they'll be you know uh, asking data structures and mathematics in the mathematics that comes into the gate so yeah i cracked the uh, i cracked the exam and i got the scholarship so after that you know uh, as i already mentioned in uh, in your first question there is this website known as gate overflow that everybody suggests you to go through during your journey because it is you know very uh, apt uh, resource to uh, look for the answers of all the previous year questions from the point that gate initiated up to the latest so uh, in september they announced that you know Go- gate overflow announced that uh they'll be you know also uh, introducing their coaching and their lectures known as go classes so uh, i thought that you know up till now uh, i am reading all these mentors answers that are on the gate or flow who had cracked gate with a very good rank and now they are going to you know start their own coaching they are teaching uh, they are they are you know, they started teaching us so i thought that you know this is a very golden opportunity to enroll this uh, institute and you know uh, be uh, very much benefited because you know i didn't uh, look uh, didn't you know uh, uh, had a second thought like you know uh, i already had gate applied so why should i be enrolling in the uh, go classes because for me this chance was like a do or die either i had to crack it or else you know uh, Uh, i'd be in a very very deteriorated phase uh, you know i'd be f- facing a very deteriorated phase uh, after the you know uh, also as i already mentioned that that in my final year uh, all the dreams and all the goal that i had went shattered after the pandemic so for me this chance was you know do or die phase so yeah i uh, pretty much started with gate applied and after that i enrolled in go classes So yeah, that answers your second question. So have you joined any test series? Because test series and mock test are pretty important in order to crack any examination. So have you joined that? And what was your scores? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, basically, you know, I st- uh, uh, when I enrolled with Gate Applied, they already give you two years of their test series. That was that that was actually twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. so i had both and after that i heard this hype like you know uh, you have to uh, enroll in made easy because their previous uh, uh, previous uh, i can say uh, record was very much good that you know uh, like all the toppers that cracked gate i have you know uh, apply uh, or i can say enrolled in made easy so yeah i enrolled in made easy and gate applied and there is this one test series that i i will say you know that is must for every gate csc aspirant that is you know preparing that is this gate overflow test series itself and uh, uh, if i can say you know scores uh, during my initial phase when i was preparing uh, i was getting when i was giving the subject wise tests or i can say topic wise tests of each subject i was you know scoring a good marks like i was scoring above 75% in topic wise tests but after that uh, if i can say uh, i think it is uh, during november phase my star my scores were on the deterioration phase like i if i give you an example i started when i when in during my initial days i started with 25 out of around 20 21 22 and in the november phase when you know when people say that you uh, you, you are at the peak of your performance and you know you should be knowing each and every concept in depth i was like i was getting around 25 uh, uh, actually i was i re- remembered in one to two tests i got 4 out of 25 so yeah like you know the uh, the test scores were literally up, up and down and uh, it was not like that you know i was consistently uh, getting a good score or consistently getting a low score it was very up and down and uh, if i you know tell you my marks in the uh, uh, full length mock test that i was getting i was you know uh, pretty much around 65 68 also i went till 55 
and after in after the january month at, or i can say the at the end of the january month i was scoring above 80 many people during uh, the mock test or during their test series when they solve pre- previous year questions they stuck to some questions and they get demotivated and they just put their books away and they go to sleep i mean they get demotivated so yeah. have you ever been in that phase when you felt demotivated that you don't want to study for the examination or you just want to leave this aspiration yeah actually not once not twice but it was you know it was countless number of times that i faced during uh, you know that i faced this situation because you know gate is not like you know a, a constant journey or we can say a monotonic journey uh, it is re- filled with really ups and downs because uh, it is not sure that if you are scoring good in test series you will be scoring good in uh, you know exam or if you are scoring bad in test series you will be scoring bad in exam you can't predict that because many of my peers that you know uh, during my preparation many of my peers they were scoring way above me but you know they uh, but the actual reality was they didn't, didn't even qualified the exam so you can't predict the you know uh, based on your test scores and uh, one thing they you know that uh, i want to emphasize is on is that like if you are suppose if you are scoring i mean i can say if you are scoring let's let's say take an example if you are scoring 5 out of 25 you should shouldn't be focusing upon like why am i why have i scored 5 this 5 marks you should you should focus on why well, you know uh, the remaining part the 20 marks that you didn't scored what was that what lacked you you know to score that you was not able uh, able to score this those 25 marks because if i give you an example uh due to these mistakes due to this you know uh, complete uh, uh, the november phase the deterioration of my marks during that phase i faced you know many of the concepts that uh, i actually knew that you know i had pretty much grasped on it but the reality was that i lacked the depth of all these subjects so yeah basically after that i recovered it revised it and uh, uh, if i can say you know the motivation phase you shouldn't be demotivated yaar because uh, you know uh, if i uh, give you an example there was this one question in you know uh, in test series in gate of row test series itself that went wrong that you know there was a silly mistake or actually that was actually a conceptual mistake so i focused on that that why that question i was not able to you know correct it during the exam and the same concept came into the real gate exam now let us suppose that i you know after attempting that test i got demotivated and you know i felt like you know ki yaar mujhse nahi hoga and you know i i leave the preparation and during that uh, when i was at, when i am at attempting the uh, real gate exam and i see that same question and i'm like yaar ki uh, you know uh, what if i uh, revise that question what if you know i uh, actually find out like what is the actual solution what where i lagged so it will be uh, you know in a main exam it will be plus 2 for me because you know uh, this plus 2 and plus 1 even pl- plus 0.6 will you know change the uh, change your ranks uh, with a drastic number so yeah you don't shouldn't get demotivated because the more you may make, make mistakes feel it like you know the more you are making mistakes in the test series the better will be your rank in the real, real exam and what are few of the subjects that computer science students should focus on like compiler design there are multiple subjects so according to what are the fo- a few subjects which they should focus on like uh, you know if i uh, ask you like if i ask an expert like you know what are all the if if he asks me like uh, what are all the subjects that i should be going in the pattern phase i you know suggest them you know to start with engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics because this one subject is going to help you a lot in all throughout your gate preparation because the concepts that we'll be using in the mathematics will help you solve the questions in databases and you won't believe me right now but you will you know uh, you will see for yourself when you will be uh, you will be preparing and you will be uh, solving the questions that mathematics will help you solve the system subjects questions also like operating systems computer networks and uh, uh, computer organization so you know i suggest you to start with engineering mathematics 
side by side you can uh, uh, you know study c programming so after that you know uh, if i say you can you have covered engineering mathematics and c programming so after that you can uh, start with the system subjects one by one if you think you know any subject is you are feeling uh, little bit difficult so i shouldn't say like you know you just uh, uh, skip the subject or skim skip some of the topics like uh, if i give you an example there is this topic known as undecidability for every gate aspirant i'm sure that this uh, topic undecidability and theory of competition everyone feels like you know it is very difficult but if you you know really understand the concept behind it it is really easy and it will you know uh, do wonders in you because theory of computation is one such subject if you have a basic understanding of that concept no question will come out of your mind so yeah there is this uh, subject if i must say if you want to score and uh, if you are you know targeting the easy subjects first i would say it will be uh, mathematics c programming theory of computation go with the compiler design because you know from past year compiler design syllabus has also increased so uh, you know gate has pretty much tenured that they will be asking more and more number of comp- uh, questions from compiler design so yeah go with the compiler design and uh, data structure and algorithms because data structure and algorithms and databases uh, is one such subject that help you uh, during your placement uh, time also if you have covered that these two subjects during your placement uh, days you know they'll be easy for you here also so after that you can go to the system subjects because you have covered ample amount of subjects which you have sure of that you know i'll be scoring good number of marks from all these subjects then you can target the system subjects because they are, they you know they need a little bit of time and they need of uh, need a little bit of conceptual depth to understand them so have you created notes for your exams since short, uh, few of the people or youtuber suggest that you should have short notes with you so that you can revise your concepts uh, before your exam so have you created those short notes if yes then what was the strategy yeah uh, actually you know i created the short notes during the december phase so basically one such suggestion that i would like to mention is that for each and every test be it full mock test be it you know uh, subject wise test beat any test you should write what is actually the silly mistake that you did in the in that test because you know uh, we are very much uh, you know uh, uh, we are uh, ourselves unable to judge like what are all the silly mistakes that we can do because we were like you know ki yaar uh, i you know I, i'll be uh, good with all the concepts and uh, i am not uh, doing any silly mistake if i you know uh, consciously give the exam it's not like this because you know when you are in, uh, under such a pressure you your, yourself don't know like uh, uh, how many silly mistakes that you can you know uh, do during the exam time so yeah uh, writing out down each and every silly mistake that you do during the exam time like for example like uh, if the question asked to you to answer in bytes and you answered the question in bits so that's one such thing that you know that will be a drastic uh, loss for you and uh, after, apart from all the silly mistakes each and every concept e- or each and every pin point that i got from the pre- by solving the previous year question that i didn't know earlier i wrote it down because you know writing down your full notes in a concise manner you know i don't think it is you know pretty much beneficial because uh you have already revised your uh, you know full length notes once or twice already because uh, after giving a test you are like you know after, uh, because before giving a test you revise a subject then you only give the test right so uh, c- and writing down your full notes in a concise manner i don't think it's you know uh, a good way to uh, apply this strategy of you know writing short notes for me it helped like you know i wrote all the pin points that i got from previous year questions or if i uh, for example uh, if i lagged a depth in a particular subject so i went to the books i read a particular line and if that line i feel like if that line is something that a question can frame upon i wrote that line all the silly mistake that i did beat silly beat conceptual so yeah uh, you know all these points that uh, are the mentions that i you know wrote down in my uh, notebook 
during uh, for the short notes that I, that was kept revising each and every day in the morning okay do you believe that people can prepare or the aspirants can prepare for their get gate examination without any coaching without any paid coaching to do yeah obviously obviously you can prepare but you know uh you have you should have that determination like you know uh, because uh, if you are uh, preparing without the coaching you should ha- you should have that self drive like you know you like uh, you know even without a peer you know I, i won't be demotivated throughout the journey and uh, if you have the good resource because even though if, if you don't you know have the good resource just follow the standard books and just follow the previous year questions after preparing the gate i you know i'm pretty much sure like if i be preparing without the coaching itself i know i'll be getting a good score not the same score but you know i'll be getting a good score because coaching is like you know uh, if uh, if you don't want to uh, uh, you know invest your time in all the strategic strategies that you'll be making during your preparation coaching is for that and your doubt resolution and for doubt resolution gate or flow website is free of use you can use that so yeah if you are you know if you are not even joining a coaching institute for your preparation you know you can pretty much score a very good time i also know one of my friend uh, he scored uh, 75 rank in 2021 without any coaching he just rely, he just relied on you know nptel lectures and uh, standard books nothing else so you have qualified for gate exam with a very good rank So, what are your future goals? Are you planning to join IIT, or you are applying for something else? Can you share that? Uh, you know, I am planning to join IISC Bangalore, and uh, yeah, because uh, I do know I want my career to be shifted from right now I'm an SD, so I want my career to be shifted from SD to a data science role. You know, because I do have this aspiration, like I'll be uh, going for a machine learning engineer in the future. so i see i think is the best place for that okay many people prepare for psu job so in computer science we uh, have for many people that there are very less jobs in psu so if they uh, want to join any government firm then what are the exams or is there any way to get into those psus or government sector through gate exams yeah obviously because you know uh, if you are getting a good score your psu will be start mailing you like uh, for the interview round uh, like uh, on also yeah, people have you know heard uh, regarding bark and isro and drdo these are all the exams that you can crack and you know uh, with a very good rank because uh, they are they are a little bit easier than gate also and you can you know crack these exams and go into these firms and uh, these public sector firms very easily and uh, you know in bark uh, there's this uh, notion like uh, uh, they you, you get selected based on either your gate score or either your uh, uh, you know the bark exam that they conducted so yeah uh, you know i myself had filled the form the, of bark so yeah and uh, i'll be giving the interview i think in april for the bark Okay, it was a nice conversation. And in the last, do you want to, uh, want to give any tips or any idea to the uh, viewers regarding free resources? Again, like if you know the websites names and YouTube channel or YouTuber name, so that it can help our audience to gain the insight from your own experience. Yeah, obviously, because you know if you are starting, if you are you know in your initial phases of gate preparation. you can uh, always go with the nptel courses because at the first glance you can you know you have this feeling like you know uh, all these websites are you know the videos are very big and the lectures are very boring but uh, the conceptual depth and the you know the grasp of the subject the base of the subject that the gate needs it is already there in the nptel lectures and you know you get a benefit like for example if an iit is conducting uh, you know a gate the gate exam and the nptel itself those are uh, those are the only professors that will be setting the questions so isn't it beneficial to uh, study from them only who are you know uh, actually setting the real questions 
so yeah you know uh, even there are very good youtubers and also the good co- good coaching institutes you know that uh, are there in the market who are you know uh, you know uh, teaching very good content but i would prefer you know to go with the standard resources and MP- go with mptl and if you want to uh, you know practice previous year questions because uh, first of all before even taking any test series i would suggest you guys to you know uh, go through previous year questions once or twice because uh, those are the original questions that came mm-hmm. into gate and no none of the coaching can you know uh, uh, reframe those types of questions so uh, yeah gate or flow is a very good website you can you know access it freely there is a very good content out there and you can ask any of the doubt and you know, the community the community will help you and nptl lectures and also if you you know uh, are planning to for the dsa rounds and uh, if you want to you know because data structure and algorithms also uh, come into the gate now and they do need conceptual depth so for that i suggest you guys there is a channel known as tushar roy so you uh, and he you know the way he teaches is really very good for the uh, you know for you to cover data structure and algorithms so yeah and uh, if you are looking for if you are new to c programming and maths also go classes uh, these two courses of go classes the c programming and discrete mathematics they are freely available on their website or you can access their youtube channel also and they are also it is freely available and you know yeah they are actually taught by the gate uh, rankers only so that is actually pretty much helpful for the gate and also to the you know as parents who are preparing with the job i would say like you know don't feel like you know you are at a disadvantage like you are having less time with against all those who are you know who are either dropped out a year or are preparing in their final year i wouldn't say you know you are at a disadvantage you know that you will be getting only 2 hours and they are actually studying for 10 or 12 hours each day so i would say like you know uh, the main thing that helped me during the gate preparation is the consistency even if i am studying 1 hour a day the this 1 hour effort should be consistent throughout the year you won't believe me like you know uh, it will do wonders the you know the consistency will do wonders in your preparation you won't believe like uh, at earlier you had you know uh, whatever level you had uh, during your preparation but at the end if you are consistent during your whole journey if you are consistent during the whole journey uh, you will feel yourself you know yeah you have you will have that confidence yeah i can i can also crack gate with a very good rank so yeah consistency matters thank you for your tips and time harsh so yeah likewise madhvi so it was uh, nice to have a conversation with you and i am also getting inspired by your talks since i am also going to be a batch passer oh yeah okay i'm a computer science pass out and currently working at kids school oh yeah congrats for that you know to the co-founder yeah and best of luck for the india same to you best of luck for your data science aspiration and hopefully <laughs> once you will qualify your data science position we will connect again yeah <laughs> sure 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 <laughs> okay thank you yeah we are welcome